Hey guys, what's up? This is Rabbit, and I am bringing you the round of... Round 3, I believe it is. Yeah, round 3 of Go For Lol Cup number 52. I remember casting this way back in the single digits days, but we are up to 52, and this will be a game between Team EZ... And uh, I believe these guys are Jezebel's Gypsy Tears. So as uh, so we all know, Gypsy Tears do cure bad luck. So, Renulf, uh, let me go over a little bit of these lineups first. We got Renulf running Jungle Mundo. And uh, I always love to see Jungle Mundo as a number of top teams, including, I believe, Dignitas. I will dominate as a really good Jungle Mundo. He will be in the jungle on Mundo. Bottom lane will be Arya69 and Jezebel Jokey. Or Joey. Yeah, Jezebel Joey. On uh, that uh, legendary Corky skin, so the Red Baron is in town. He will be doing work bottom lane. Uh, mid lane will be Heinz four zeros, or just Heinz zero. I'm just gonna call him Heinz because I don't know why. The Anyways, Dire Spark top lane on Aurelia. You can't actually see her because that brush is way too stealthy. But uh, for Team EZ, um, doing the right thing, just going back after having found no members of uh, Jezebel's Gypsy Tears. Team EZ will be represented by Sick Motion in the jungle on Lee Sin. Jagged will be running at Leona bottom lane, so it's going to be a really aggressive lane between Leona and Chase on Fire, who's running Graves there as well. So, Zithian is going to be going mid on Super Secret Scientist uh, Ziggs here. Jumping around all over the place. <laughs> I love that guy. Psycho Sid going top lane on Warwick. So, you're going to see a lot of like sustaining jungle champions uh, all over this map between, you know, Aurelia, who can in fact jungle, although it's about as popular as Jungle Mundo, to be honest. And, uh, looks like, uh, Will Lee Sin actually use, uh, Smite here. Uh, we're gonna see, no, he's not using Smite, he just got an extra sexy pull from Psycho Sid, saving his Smite, now he's gonna run straight to the red buff, except, uh, Newsflash, Mundo starts red, so that won't be there. So we might actually see him loop around, go for a gank mid, and then cycle around to the blue buff, because I believe that, uh, yeah, he's gonna know that Mundo does not start red buff, so he's gonna check it, it's not there, and that means he's just gonna cycle on up here, and might be able to catch Mundo really low health, and this is Mundo's vulnerable time, this level 2 ganks are not what he excels at, like, sure, if he lands a cleaver, then it's GG, but it's if he doesn't, then... I don't know. Will he hit the cleaver? He's going in. He gets the stun. Will it be good enough? He's on top of him with that. Oh my goodness. They're actually doing way too much damage. And Psycho Sid will go down. Way too pushed up there without an escape. And uh, didn't want to blow the flash. So saving his flash uh, just says, Hey man, you guys can get first blood. I will be back later on. Peace out. Sick Motion is actually picking up his blue. Will he actually give this to Cassiopeia? It does not look like he will. He's just going to go pick that up and uh, head down to bottom lane. So the uh, saved smite was not effective, but he did make sure to get all of his buffs. And there was a kill that went down top lane because uh, there was no uh, there was no presence there from Lee Sin. If we check out bottom lane, summoner heal being used to s keep, uh, keep Jezebel Joey alive. Wow. Getting away there with under 50 health, so that's that's why you bring summoner heal, guys. It's it's pretty good. Psycho said doing a really good job forcing Aurelia. Let's say that's Nightblade Aurelia, sexy, to uh, pot up already. So that will make them. Uh, let's see. Wow, he started regrowth pendant pots and then uh, picked up wards and a mana potion. So he's gonna be up top lane for a long time and do his very best to last it under turret. Of course, Aurelia has an easier job of doing that than everyone else does. But uh, yeah, Chase on Fire and Jagged are doing a lot of damage to uh, this turret. And by a lot of damage, I mean about 300 health. So not even, it's like 150 health. Anyways, uh, Mundo's just going to go back. We'll see what he picks up. He's going to be going for that uh, Warmonk's first build. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you can definitely farm that up a little, a lot earlier. But uh, wow, looks like the dives were completed bottom lane. As uh, soon as Corky gets back, that results in Janus' death. Let's go back, Corky kills his support on returning to lane, so if I had to make a prediction on where the action is going to come down next, um, you know, just so that we can actually, uh, you know, watch a kill, that would be helpful. Um, it will be mid lane? Both junglers are sitting around mid, so uh, right after you kill off the raid camps, so usually you just cycle around there for massive lulls. Lee Sin, however, will not be doing this. Mundo knows what I'm talking about. He's going to run around here and see if he can land any of his sexy clearers. Uh, looks like the lane pushes at that exact moment. He may actually stay here until the lane counter pushes because uh, Zix does tend to counter push lanes a lot 
uh, with his bomb harassment, but uh, failing that, Mundo's just going to run straight up to top lane and see if he can uh, make a repeat performance, but here comes Warwick. Warwick is actually in a really bad position. He's going to go try to ward, and right now he is cut off from his team. He's not going to, he's going to like, miss the cleaver. He could flash over Baron well, so that's always an option, but it does look like, yeah, Heinz would have come up there for the assist, so he just takes the easy way out, blows that flash, and you know, that's why you save it from earlier. Uh, you know, if you may get out earlier, but have a gimped lane, just go ahead and die, and then save it so that you can return to lane. He's actually not going to return to lane. He's going to go back to base with full health and mana. Pick up that Philo Stone. So he's going for a little bit more of that sustainy tank, um, Warwick, uh, or Langwick, rather, top lane. So, Dire Sparks doing a really good job last hitting under turret top lane. That is one of the benefits of playing Aurelia. If you don't get the auto attack, you can always go for the Blade Surge. Actually, misses one there, but, uh, back to the matter at hand. We got Jezebel, Joey, and Arya69 finally back in lane together, so hopefully that, uh, lane comp will be a little bit effective. Zithia is actually going up against Cassiopeia, that is a really interesting matchup. I've not seen too much of Zix versus Cass. You know, he's kind of, you know, that, that really fun champion to play. Has his own, you know, strengths and weaknesses. I mean, if you really know how to play Zix, then you can't really get away. Did recently receive a nerf to his mines, as they were not extremely effective. But uh, Sick Potion has returned to top, to uh, mid lane, and uh, actually just opts to once again clear his jungle. He knows that uh, he might have been a little bit behind there, so he's just going to work on getting level 6, and he's going to go in for those super ganks. And actually, uh, Renolf is going to walk in here through the bush. It is warded is uh, well, it's warded for uh, Jezebel's Gypsy Tears, but uh, not for our friends in blue. They're playing hella passively, and I'm not sure if they saw that, but Sick Motion's actually going to come in here. Mundo will be around for the counter gank. They see him pop out of the bush, but no cleaver was landed. Wow! Instantaneously popped there, so... Uh, Arya is not having a good time right now. Sick Motion actually may go down. No, the Summoner Heal has popped as well, so that will get them out of there alive. I don't believe I actually had to pop that. I think that Lee Sin's shield would have kept him alive, but uh, the counter gank from Ronolf was not effective as he did miss that cleaver going in. But uh, to be honest, I think it was mostly Jagged and uh, Chase on Fire that did all that damage. Sick Motion is going to come back in the lane, just uh, sustain here, take all this farm, and push this out while Leona goes towards, so... He is finally level 6, he's going to stick in the bush, I believe they, I don't think they know that he's going to stay around there, they do not have that bush warded, that one only has a ward there for EZ right now, and I believe, yes, they saw him as that minion pushed up, you can see that that minion covers that area where uh, Sick Motion did walk through, so they know that there is a Lee Sin bottom lane, hopefully Jezebel and company will be a little bit more aware of that, it looks like Heinz successfully pushing uh, Zithian out of lane, and uh, this is really impressive. Um, to, to let you guys know, there is a little bit of an ELO disparity here, but to be honest, like ELO makes like zero difference. When you have a team and you practice together as a team, you can do immense things uh, to use a TSM word there. Renault's just gonna be clearing out his jungle. He has red buff on the way. He's actually gonna go for a spirit visage first, and that's a little bit interesting. Um, you know, he's not gonna go for anything crazy by just, you know, buying straight, uh, straight warmogs or shenanigan re like that but uh heinz krishlinov does not have his revolver yet revolver is what, really what you want makes your twin fangs basically a potion for you so uh psycho sid uh doing a really good job top lane if we go ahead and check out the bot lane cs yeah, so much that's been going on here so far this game let's see uh, we have a uh yeah four points in hungry strike uh, for Warwick top lane, uh, I said I was going to focus on bottom lane, but the top lane is so much more interesting, and by so much more interesting, I mean not extremely. Sick Motion and Zithian are both trolling around here in mid lane, Zix gets a really good bomb, oh my goodness, those bombs do a little bit of damage, let's go ahead and check that out, bouncing bomb, level 4, max burst does 238 damage, so that's a... Uh yeah, a little bit. So, actually, Aurelia leading Warwick to sustain his health back up here. I don't actually like that decision. Sure, you went down to Ward, but you really had a solid advantage there. You just don't want to use that advantage. And, wow, Renault forced to pop his ult there. He's going to be going away, but uh, the Ziggs bomb is good as well. So, Sick Motion and Psycho Sid will be jumping in here, but uh, with the Cleaver landed there. It looks like, wow, the ult comes down from Psycho Sid. The bombs are good. The mines will pick up the kill. Actually, no, Sick Motion picks that up. The exhaust is on to Mundo. He does not have his ult, but that will be another kill. Four to one. For Team EZ. Jezebel Joey, meanwhile, killing off bottom lane, but Chase on Fire is still alive. He could go down as well. Valkyrie has already been used, so he's going to dash in there. Will pick up that kill, so Chase on Fire is going to go one for one bottom lane. 
says, you know, peace out. Sorry about that, Leona, but uh, I'm going to pick up the skill. So, Sig Motion is still waiting in the tri bush to see if uh, there will be any action there once Hines returns down to bottom lane. And the boat's just going to hang out here. It looks like no Sig Motion is going to run away into the jungle. Will, delay, will land a delayed Q there. It's a little lag there, but uh, Riggles will be picked up on Graves. And that's really an interesting pickup because you don't see a lot of... You know, Riggles is traditionally that defensive, I really don't want to die in my lane item. Gives you that sustain, gives you that uh, armor, as well as a little bit of extra attack damage. Especially, uh, the big deal though is the life steal. And it's just everything you possibly want in one tight, succinct package. It's really kind of an early to mid game item. You don't want to see that on your late game champions. Because there are things like, oh wait, you know, Bloodthirsters. And Zithian's actually going to come in here with Sync Motion, pick up the blue buff for Sigs once again. So, um... Actually, I believe that was the first time he got blue buff, so it was not once again. I hate people that just use, like, filler casting phrases like, Oh, well, here we see. I'm like, of course we're seeing it. You're showing it right now. Anyways, Dire Spark says, I'm not in such a good position, so he's just going to clear out the wave with his ult. And that's kind of uh, what you see out of some rumbles that go top lane. Uh, if they're behind a little bit, they'll just throw down their ult, clear out the wave, and then just go back and buy some items without missing too much CS. So, back to the matter at hand, we have... Zithian versus uh, Heinz Zero, who will just go over there, ward that entrance to the jungle, and uh, crucially, they need to have both entrances, or both exits rather, warded to their jungle. Sick motions here, he will possibly walk over this ward. Actually, no, he's going to go down, and that's a really good choice just because, or go back rather, just because you don't want to walk through the wards as soon as the enemy knows where your wards are, or where your jungler is rather. The rest of the team could basically do whatever they want and contest buffs. Um, you know, go hard the pain. And actually, Mundo's coming in here the long way. The ult goes off onto Renault. Renault gets bursted down instantaneously. And I say instantaneously. But wow! There comes in the teleport. And uh, the instantaneous ultimate. So many deaths going on. Oh my goodness. An instant teleport ult there from Psycho Sid coming down top lane. And that will be perfect positioning for Baron. They got one kill. They got two kills. Three kills picked up there as a uh, counter gank um, from Renault. Turned out to be a counter gank from the rest of his team as well, and then the rest of uh, Jezebel's Gypsy Tears just caught way out of position. 8-3 to three is the score, and that will be a dragon for Team EZ. So, I don't know, guys. Looking a little bit close to me, but uh, by close, I mean yes, EZ is kind of coming away with this. Sick Motion's going to get on to Heinz. Will he land the Q? He lands the Q, and the ult coming off instantaneously picks up the kill there. Will he go down? The Ignite is on the no, that was actually an Ignite on Cassiopeia. Sick Motion gets out with under a hundred hit points. I, I don't even know guys. I how do you how do you do this? How do you hit points? I I it's just it's too hard. I, I didn't know. But uh, anyways, uh looks like anyways it's not a word guys. You put the S on the end and you just sound like a retard, don't do it. <laughs> Back to the matter at hand, uh, we got uh, Dire Spark doing work top lane. He's been trying to counter Psycho Sid, but Psycho Sid's been pretty much free firing this entire game. So if we go ahead and check out the farm counts for top lane, we see 77 versus 85. Aurelia has been doing a really good job so far, but just not as tanky, not as sustainy. Um, she, you know, she has Warwick's passive on her He10 style. Warwick just has it as his passive, as his passive, but has massive life steal from having already maxed his hundred strike, which deals 275 damage. Either that or 20% of their maximum health. Like, uh, let's just be real. Once Mundo gets health and Warwick tries to use that on him, and uh, oh, ugh, ugh. 20% of your health and magic damage. That's, uh, how do you say, a lot? Yep, and just straight health being built on Mundo right now. That's pretty much all he needs. He's going to go ahead and pop his ult, use that stain up in jungle, and he's already back up to around 900 health. So, I believe the last nerf to Mundo did nerf his, um, his ult regen. But uh, once he gets that the Spirit Passage is basically back to where it used to be. Because I believe they nerfed the Spirit Passage as well. So, that's, uh, that's just how well Jungle Cassiopeia works. You get blue buff, you take all the buffs for yourself, and then you go where you please along with Mundo. So it looks like they're going to be both trolling around here, and uh, Heinz will be joining Jezebel Joey here. Easy sickness, sick motion does not know what hit him. He just got bursted down over the wall. He's going to be able to jump to the ward in that bush and uh, get out of there, but uh, he's going to go back in because now they know the positioning of Cassiopeia, and uh, Zix could capitalize on this. He's going to throw down the mines, and that will force Cassiopeia to at least go down the long way and miss a couple of CS. There's one, and it looks like there will be two as well if that does go down before Cassiopeia can get there, so he's just going to throw down double poison. I believe she got, yeah, one of those, missed another one, so they're pinging onto, uh, onto Zithian, or rather onto Hines. 
because if they didn't play Cassiopeia last game, so I'm a little bit behind there, but uh, bottom lane is a lot of harassment, and by harassment, I mean uh, nobody can stop Chase on fire from killing that Surrey. It looks like, wow, they're actually going to jump in here. The summoner kill is instantaneously good. Jezebel Joey is getting, uh, no, no, he does not have turret aggro. Jagged actually took the turret aggro there, and uh, preemptive Ziggs bomb there. Will it be enough to pick up Arya? Looks like, yes, it will. Chase on fire. Flashing for that kill, I believe. Yes, just use this flash to pick up that kill. And, uh, you know, if you check out the kill counts, it's 5-0 uh, and o jungle, oddly sin, and 5-0 uh, and o AD carry bottom lane with 128 farm versus uh, Corky's 84. So, let's just be real, guys. Turret is still up. Actually, as I say that, it does get taken down, so that will be 1-1. One in turrets, but uh, 11 to 3 in kills, so you definitely don't want to be blaming this guy. Dire Spark knows what's up. He's been doing a really good job. And actually, Sick Motion is waiting for Hyze. He could throw off that Q. They know where he is, but the Dire Spark's coming up there as well. I realize it's a little scary right now. Has that wit's end. And uh, looks like Sick Motion will be waiting for that Q. Will he be able to hit it blindly over the wall and get it because he's a monk? Anyways, Renolf is going to pop onto. Oh my goodness, an excellent cleaver. Gets missed, but uh, Hines picks up that kill. And Sigmush is actually in a little bit of trouble here. He will go down to Renolf, and so double killing spree's ended. 439 gold, killing off both of the most fed members of the enemy team. That is a lot of gold right there. That is uh, almost as much as you would have gotten for killing one guy who's godlike. But uh, I don't know. It looks like, looks like Dune Spark or Dire Spark. What did I say? Dude, I've been calling him Dire Spark this whole game. We'll be able to take down his Sega turret. So right now, really is doing a little bit of work. And actually, Heinz KS is that turret kill. Scumbag, Cassiopeia. Oh well, Psycho Sid will finally go back. And we'll see him. Wow, he went double GP5. That's a really good build on Warwick. Because it lets you get those high tier tank items ridiculously fast. All goes off from Zix. Trying to steal that there. But uh, nothing doing. Red buff will go on to Dr. Mundo. Who popped his ult at a very good time. As he probably would died if he hadn't popped that ahead of time. Jagden and Scythian are going to roll bottom lane, and uh, we're going to see if they can contest this turret. This could be a third turret in a row here. Uh, they are really low, and they do not want to stick around for that teleport. Warwick teleports in. They do get the turret, but Warwick will ult onto Heinz. Heinz will go down. Arya goes down to Zithian as well. The ult comes off from Graves, picks out Mundo, and Jezebel Joey will be the last member of his team to get out alive. As once again, we see Jenna falling down there in that bush. So, uh, Warmog's picked up by Mundo. That's going to be a really big pickup. And Corky needs to keep running as he... Oh my goodness, epic juke. But gets crippled behind the turret. He's going to try to do as much damage as possible. But with all of that... Uh... No, no, sorry, minor technical difficulties. With all that damage, looks like Sick Motion will be able to assist in picking up that kill. 17.50 is our time and uh, that means that uh, there's just a couple minutes before uh, Jezebel's Jepsy Tears have to make a crucial decision. Zithian kills that turret but a uh, turret killing spree going on here as <laughs> Jezebel's Jepsy Tears are actually up an entire turret. It is only 24 to 28 K gold so only down by 4k gold you know that's a lot and now easy will get dragon just to make it that much more um, of a difference. Sick Motion is going to come here. Bomb is going to guard the ramp against Hines. He will not actually walk in any of those accidentally. Warwick says, I do not care about this. And actually, wow, an excellent ultimate there from Cassiopeia. Fail Flash will be enough. Uh, actually, that was not a Fail Flash. Wow. Sick Motion picking up that kill in the sickest of fashions. But actually, Renolf will go in there for a kill as well. He has his ult on. He's going to get sustained by Janna. Just enough to live. He will be able to go back in there. Dire Spark's actually going down really low, but also manages to live. Renolf is running through Corky's. Um, actually, no, that was not Renolf. Wow, this is an epic turnaround. EZ could have made a dire mistake as Dire Spark popping on to Psycho Sid. And actually, Ziggs will go down as well, so Zithian is not alive anymore. That is four dead, four for two, an excellent trade here. Dire Spark just waiting on cooldowns to be able to dash and get that slow off. Psycho Sid is running between turrets, behind turrets, all the way through the base. He's going to be able to use his hungry strike to uh, get his health back just a little bit. And uh, the more you chase, the worse you are. You're missing all that CS. You're taking, you're like giving up your advantage. And uh, they may actually just decide to stop here. Yeah, he's just going to stop, go back. And uh, Warwick's going to have his blood set on, so he's going to know if Aurelia decides to stay and pick up his red buff. Oh my goodness, so smart by Psycho Sid. He's going to see Aurelia start on that red buff. He's going to see Corky teleport back, and he's just going to wait here. going to try to hungering strike slash smite this. And there it goes. He does not get the red buff, 
Buds, uh, actually, did he get the red buff? No, he did not get the red buff. Buds actually gonna opt to use his ult to pick off Dire Spark. Big plays here by Psycho Sid. He goes in there. Perfect ward position, giving him all the information he needs. He says, yo, dog, what's up, son? I have tons of sustain. I have some assist, but assisting coming in here from Jezebel Joey as well. He's going to try to go in on to Psycho Sid. Will Renault actually go down? Renault does go down. And Psycho Sid lives with 20 HP. Oh, my goodness. And Jezebel Joey will not go down as well. He's popping. Ult, he's popping. Summoner's popping everything he can. Actually dodges that Q, but goes down. It's a sick motion. Wow. I don't even know, guys. Like, I, what what is going on here? I I'm, I'm attempting words, but they just they don't come. It's, it's so hard. Oh my goodness! Uh, it looks like Heinz is gonna get jumped on to by Zipian, but Jagged is coming in there as well. Lands the Zenith Blade and will go in there for the Sun as well. Four to zero surrender. An epic comeback there by Jezebel's Jepsy Tears. But uh, thanks to both teams for playing epic games from everyone. Thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, round from go for a while number 52 uh, between F or easy gaming and Jezebel's Gypsy Tears if you like what you saw go ahead like subscribe thumbs up comment whatever you want to do and uh, yeah I'll see you guys later peace out